Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video, we are going to make a real time WebSocket chat, the server and the client, in hopefully less than 10 minutes. So let's get started. We have no time to spare. So I'm going to start out by saying npm init in the server folder, because I have two folders here client and server. So I'll just accept most of the defaults here. Looks good. Awesome. Now I'm going to say npm install save ws, which is our WebSocket library that we're going to use uh, to create our server. So I'm going to create a new file, index index.js. And this file actually needs to be in this folder. So here we'll say constant WebSocket equals require that WebSocket library. All right. Now, um, we also want to say server equals new WebSocket dot server, and we'll give it. Uh, we'll say port port one two three four five because that's an awesome port. Okay, now I want to say server dot on connection. So when we receive a connection from the browser, we'll receive a WebSocket connection. Whoops, and then WebSocket dot on message when it sends us a message, then um, we'll receive the data. And we will broadcast that data. We'll write that broadcast function in just a second. Okay, so I'm going to say uh, function broadcast data and server dot clients dot for each we get the client and we'll just send that data to each and every one of those clients. And there's our server. So I'm going to start that node index.js and let's move over to the client. I'm going to create index.html and client client.js. Okay, index.html have this template here. And I'm going to create a div called box. And that's going to hold the history of the messages. And then I'm going to have an input uh, with an ID of MSG. And that's for our messages. And then finally, a link to our script. There we go. And I'll add a little bit of styling to our box. Um, so style. Uh, width of 500 pixels, height of 200 pixels, overflow x, auto border 2 pixels, solid gray, and font family monospace. Beautiful. Now we'll move over to our client. We'll say constant connection equals new web socket, and that's running on localhost 12345 okay then box is document.get element by id box and messages equals document.get element by id message like that beautiful connection dot uh, add event listener open we'll just um, log to the console connected. All right. And then msg.add event listener key down. Um, get that event object. And then key code equals e dot which whoops, or e dot key code to make it cross browser ish. If key code equals 13, that's enter, then send um, msg.value and msg.value equals nothing. Okay, so now we need to make that send function. Pretty simple, more or less. We'll just check if the connection not ready state equals websocket.open and if it isn't
throw that error. Otherwise, connection.send data. And finally, we will listen for new messages. And this actually um, needs to be an event object. And then we'll say let p equals document dot create element. We'll just make it a paragraph element. p dot text content equals e dot data. And then um, box dot append child p. And there we go. That should work. So I have two browsers open here. They should both be connected if I open up the console. It says connected. Beautiful, it says connected. Here, I'm going to type in something. Hello. And it shows up in both of them. Here, I'm going to say, hola. And it shows up in both of them. And there you go, guys. That is how you make a super simple WebSocket real-time chat application with JavaScript and Node.js. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you learned something from it. My name is Jacob, and have a good one.